Hi there, I'm Austin again here at Sky River RV Paso Robles. Today we're checking out the uh, Cougar 24 SAWBE. Um, we've got a lot of fun things I'm excited to show you today on, the, on this trailer. Um, so we'll, we'll start on the outside right up front over here. So starting off, we got a nice big pass-through compartment here. Come take a look inside all this space. And right here we've got the uh, prep for tire link, uh, tire pressure monitoring system there. Um, as well as a small solar port on the side if you have some suitcase solar you want to unpack. Um, this unit does come with two solar panels on top from the manufacturer giving you about 300 watts of solar. If you take a look here you can see this is an automotive grade windshield with a nice seal all the way around it. Not going to have to worry about any leaks like that but you still get a little bit of sunlight coming through into the bedroom. Uh, as we come around the front here you'll see a standard power tongue jack uh, as well as an upgraded uh, propane tank cover with room for a uh, two seven gallon propane tank. If you come around over here, you'll see we have uh, inverter disconnect switch as well as a battery disconnect switch up under here. Uh, as we come around to the side, you'll see the other side of our big pass-through storage. Um, in here we have your inverter. Um, this unit comes with a 2000 watt Xantrex inverter as well as a 30 amp solar charge controller to handle all that solar we got coming in. You can see we're prepped for a second inverter. Um, what that inverter is going to do is going to allow you to run the AC off the batteries. So that's, that's something if you're out dry camping on a hot summer day, you'll be able to have cool air coming through just like if you were plugged into the campground. All right, if you take a look at the slide here, this is a rack and pinion slide, one of my favorite slide rooms working in the uh, service department. This is one we really don't see a whole lot of, which is a good thing for you. It means you're not going to be having any issues with it. And if you do, it does have a manual override down at the bottom so you can get it in okay. Coming back here, we got our outdoor, sh outdoor shower and a tankless water heater here, as well as our uh, secondary gray tank valve and your uh, 30 amp connection there. Coming to the back, you'll see this is equipped with a ladder with a fully walkable roof, so you can get up there, clean off the solar panels, reseal the die core if you need to. Um, it is prepped for a backup camera as are most Keystone units, and it does come with a full size spare. Taking a look here, we have our uh, multi-source signal controller. This is if you want to hook up to the satellite or cable TV, or whatever park, or if you've got a mo mobile satellite dish, we can take care of that right there as well. Coming around here, you'll see we have a dual axle trailer. Uh, these are chrome wheels as well. Um, you're not gonna have a lot of sway going down the road. It's gonna keep things nice and steady for you. Um, and then in the front and the rear, we've got Lippert power stabilizing jacks. Um, now the cool thing about this trailer is we come inside here, It's got the Keystone in command system, so that means everything, lights, slide outs, stabilizer jacks are all controlled from this little box right here. Um, and they also have an app as well, so if you're into that you can use it from your phone if you want to stand outside and watch the awning come out or the slide come out, make sure you're not going to hit anything. Um, you can do that through the app, so you don't have to be in here at this touchpad. Alright, if you take a look here, we've got a Dometic matching refrigerator. You can see these panels do match with the wood around it. Uh, if you take a look inside, you got plenty of room in both the fridge and the freezer for all your goodies you're taking with you. Um, and this one is gas electric, so you can use it off the propane, or if you're plugged in, you can use off off the shore power. Um, coming into the kitchen here, we've got a, a full, full kitchen with a three burner stove, oven, and a microwave there. Um, now coming over here, you'll see we've got two side windows as well as a nice big double sink that comes with a uh, drying board, a drying rack and a cutting board as well. Oh. And uh, don't forget, don't let me forget to mention all the storage you got here, nice spacious cabinets up top. So you got one back here, two more on the sides, as well as two drawers and some storage under the sink. Good. All right, as we come around here, don't let me forget to mention this is, we've got ventilation in the floor here. So we've got a floor vent here and one right, right behind as well, as well as a ducted AC system throughout the whole coach. So you can see you've got two vents in here, or three vents in here, one in the bathroom and then two in the, in the bedroom. Um, right here, nice, nice dinette, plenty of room for two adults right there and it does transform into a bed as well. And then as we come to the other side, we've got a nice couch right there if you wanna have some guests over as well as a uh, pantry closet for you as well. Um, cool thing about these shelves, if you take a look inside, they are removable, so you can adjust them to whatever height you need. Say you need something a little taller, you just take them out and put them all on the bottom, or you can have them set up as they are now. Um, and this couch here does turn into a bed. It's a, a pull-out bed underneath. On the inside here, we've got, along with the AC ducting, we've got dual zone speakers, so that means we've got speakers inside as well as outside. You can just change it on the little radio right over here. 
uh, let you listen to music inside or outside. And this TV here is on a swivel mount, so that'll pull out if you want to watch from the dinette or, or from the chairs right there. You can get the best viewing angle possible. And so you've got two doors here. So first door goes into your bathroom. As we take a look inside, you can see we've got a nice corner shower with the skylight. Um, plenty of tall ceilings in here. I don't have to worry about ducking down at all. And uh, right here on the wall in front of me, we've got the uh, controls for the tankless water heater, um, as well as a nice cabinet over here and a uh, cabinet behind the vanity. And as we, we come through over here, you'll see you've got two doors. So you've got entryway from the living room and from the bathroom. You don't need to go all the way around, but if you need to, there is a door for that as well. Uh, as we come into the bedroom, you can see we've got a queen bed in here, a uh, nice automotive windshield there in front of you, letting, letting plenty of light through, but it does have a shade there in case you want to cut that out at night. Um, you can see we've got outlets and 12 volt USB chargers on either side of the bed, as long, along with some storage on the bottom and uh, plenty of storage in these cabinets on, on the sides right there for all your clothes you're going to bring along. And uh, right here is the entrance to the bathroom. You can see it's got a pocket door. You can just slide that in place right there if you need a little privacy. The other thing I want to talk about is you do have a second entry door. So right here in case you want to come in, access from both sides, which is pretty rare on a trailer this size. As we come back outside, you can see we've got uh, two Lippert solid steps. So we've got one here in the bedroom entryway and another one there in the main entrance. Um, once again, I'm, my name's Austin over here at Sky River RV Paso Robles and thanks for watching.